Hey there, welcome back to another daily dungeon video. Doing an augmentation of Ochre Key for the weekly. Doing a, was this a 17, I think? Yeah, I still have a bunch of keys I need to do this week, but shouldn't be too bad just to get those knocked out real quick. Maybe after raid tonight or something. Gotta get everybody buffed up once everybody gets in here. This is a Vortex 17, I think. Should be pretty good. Looks like most people are either fairly geared or have pretty high IO, so it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, this is the build I'm running, just a standard Mythic Plus build for Evoker. Um, and this is what my gear looks like. Pretty stacked, I think, on this character. I need to get... I can upgrade this ring. Uh, actually, I can upgrade it at least once here. I can upgrade some of these myth items. I should be trying to get some of these heroic items up to 447, but... Um, I think the two that I really need to replace are this, this trinket and this helm. And just... This is essentially a DPS trinket slot that goes along with... Uh, and then there's just the helm, right? I've enjoyed playing Og quite a bit, actually. It's a really fun spec. I have a buttload of mastery on this character. I'm sitting at 6,800. Which just increases all of my aura durations by a hell of a lot and gives people a bunch of verse in the group. And It's just huge. It's so good. And I'm ready to go whenever. I'm not sure what uh, where they're going to want Lust. Usually you Lust first pull. I just don't know how much they're going to pull here. So Not sure the route the tank is going to go on, but we will just follow it out and see how it goes. I took my dog out and he saw like a rabbit or something and pulled the rope through my hand so i have a burn on my index a rope burn on my index finger from that oh he's a good boy but he gets real excited on the weekends when i go home from work Are these guys in a guild no just no it's like they're not no worries I just tried to do a uh, a freehold and it didn't. It ended up the healer had to go, so we didn't finish the key. But I'm pretty tired. I just got off my 12-hour shift from work too, so pretty busy weekend. As soon as we're ready to go, we'll get going. I think these guys are both on. Both on Lightbringer. I don't know what kind of server that is. Uh, let's keep getting our presences out here then. I'm not sure how far he's gonna go. Is this where we're stopping? Breath of Ian's. Asherized blast. Bloodlust. Shield. I don't know what's happening there. Let's I don't go. also know if I should be like I lusted here. Asherized blast. I'm sure we're not standing in that. Our healer's not dispelling, it looks like. Can I don't know if I can even hit the dispel. Shield. RTK should be doing pretty huge damage throughout the dungeon here. 444 equipped with a 447 weapon. Shield. Up to see. Shield. Sure, facing this direction. Are we missing a damage dealer? 
Asherized blast. Oh, okay. No, our our, our uh, healer just hadn't done any damage yet. Asherized blast. Shield. Shield. I hate these first pulls. These these two mobs slow down the dungeon so much. Asherized blast. Actually, like a lot of the higher dungeons, you pull quite a bit Asherized with these mobs. Blast. It's a lot. Did RTK get knocked off? <laughs> okay. Keep buffs rolling. And we have our breath ready. I don't have anything for that, so I'm just going to pop a defensive. Just knock up there. Breath of Eons. I'll go ahead and Breath of Eons this, that's fine. Bloodlust. Don't have another interrupt. I'm just gonna pop a defensive. I'm gonna actually hold this Ebon for a quick second. Just watch for my debuffs here. Basically, just trying to keep my uptime here and then wait for my next. Oh, what do you call it? My next breath of aeons, right? Which is in 40 seconds. It's so hard to keep people up through that dot. Shield. I have buffs here. Asherized blast. I'm not sure what we're having so many issues with. I'm gonna try to heal myself a little bit here. Pop up our Emerald Blossom. Shield. DK didn't res, so we'll just have to pop him a res up here. I like dragging this Mistral into the next pack. Because the Mistrals, they they don't do much other than area denial. And like, melee your tank, right? Shield. I'm wondering about this uh, DK. For being 3Ks. Having some issues. I don't know if it's really on him though. I don't know if he's been dying to that or if he's been dying to. Oh. Or if he's been dying to like Dotsby not being dispelled or something like that. But both of our deaths have been him so far, so it's something to keep in mind. Breath of Ian's. Bloodlust. Push. Cyclone. Go ahead and pop Zephyr for that one. I should watch and see if I can find a... Uh, like, see if he's using... Or if our healer is using any big AoE heal or something before I hit that. But I haven't noticed anything yet, anyway. We're going up on the next first boss here. Push. We'll go ahead and rejuven or uh, we'll do renewing blaze here. It's really strong against those pushes. Push. Also lasts quite a while, which is kind of good. I can't really tell exactly where that is. I didn't want to be in it, so I might have moved a little further than I needed to.
DK is popping off on this bull, 140k or something. Nice. Go and pop our Emerald Blossom again, and we'll go to the boss. Add a tempest. A lot of people are taking a lot of damage there. I'll go ahead and just pop this. Gosh, it's hard to dodge these all sometimes. I can Zephyr this. I have Breath again if somebody uses a CD here. Breath of Ian's. Go ahead and pop it here. Bloodlust. Go ahead and pop that up. I should go ahead and buff this Breath of Aeons here. Lightning Bolt on the Decay. I'm going to go ahead and pop my hover here so I can dodge and still do damage. I'll have my thing for the next one. Ooh, the Decay. Go ahead and pop a big CD up on him. I think I, I don't need to spend anything here. I can uh, just save. Nice. Let's do a rescue. I need to remember too that a lot of the rescuing somebody actually does a lot of healing. Um, or a lot of, it gives like a defensive buff when you're playing... Uh, when you're playing at Og, I'm not sure exactly. I remember reading a talent on it, but I can't remember off the top of my head here. And we do the spam. Are we just doing one side? Or are we doing both sides? Oh, our tanks go on the other side. Okay. Probably just for the uh, bursting there. Try to pop some excess healing there to help our healer out. Cloud burst. Cloud burst. That knockup was awesome for the cloud burst there. Good timing for the upheaval to come up. Breath of Ian's. Do I wanna? I'll just do it. It's fine. Love I'll have it up for the big hit. That only hit two of them. That. Seems a little odd. Why would it only hit two mobs there? That seemed weird. It seemed like it should have hit way more. We're not pop a defensive here. I kind of want to like make sure that I'm popping defenses or popping obsidian scales if I have two stacks, right? Because that also does the attunement for the. Uh, What's it called? The Black Attunement for the Maximum Health, right? I don't know what our tank is pulling, so... Well. Yeah. Make sure I stand on the yeah. side here. I can go ahead and Zephyr this first hit here. Shrental. Should be fine here. A tornado is fine. I love it. Worried about the next pack. It's probably going to be a bit dangerous. Is that dragon getting buffed there? I don't know if it's healing or not. I'm going to go ahead and pop an Emerald Blossom here. We need the... Yeah, our tank knows what's up. Let's go. I shouldn't have used that there. I don't want to slow. Are we pulling into the next pack? We have Lusto. They perform. They perform. I'm holding. I don't know what our is our healer. Our tank isn't going.
Everyone's just holding, waiting for the tank to pull into the next pack. Oh, am I might just. Oh no, there we go. Okay. Bloodlust. They perform. Oh, I'm having some internet issues. What the hell? Breath of Ian. The there it goes. That was weird. Cloud burst. Cloud burst. Try my best here. That was weird. I had a really bad lag spike there, but I think we're okay. Can do another one of these. We don't want to they extend perform. this. Uh oh. High stacks. Um. Yeah. I'll res, I guess. What? Why would you release there? Uh. Okay. I wonder about this group. Hmm. What do our deaths look like? People just having CDs up, I guess. Our tank. Uh, the problem there, I think, was the weird DC that I had, and then like the tank just not being aggressive with bulls. Especially when we, I maybe just didn't know we were lusting that pull or something. Healer's back. Pop this Emerald Blossom. They perform. They perform. I don't know what our healer is doing. Running over here for some reason. If you put yourself a uh, put yourself up against this wall, the assassins can't hit your back, so you actually take less damage as a range. It's kind of hard to see like what's going on, but it's a good little trick for hierarchies, especially on Fort Weeks. They perform. Saves you a lot of uh damage taken. You can also tank right next to this like little undercrop on these stairs, and they can't and things can't hit you from down here, which is kinda nice. Breath of Ians. They perform. Bloodlust. Go ahead and pop up. They perform. Cloud burst. Bunch of CDs burst. here. Make sure we hit those cloud bursts. Those are the things that'll kill us here. I'll have to look at like what the CC scores look like at the end of this dungeon, if I remember. I'm gonna pop some healing here. Help out our healer. I should have been I should be more aware of that throughout this dungeon. Helping out the healer, their mana. We don't have lust, that's fine. Get a big Oh, is the tank I hate it when tanks tank it like this. Pull it in the center, please. Thank you. I'm just going to go ahead and Zephyr to start here. I'm just going to make sure I go up. Play the defensive. That's fine. Pop my Emerald Blossom. Oh my not. Okay. We'll pop our next obsidian scales here. I'm gonna go ahead and burn it and brace myself for some extra healing. It's our next down burst. We want to just make sure we're very quickly in the right area, and then we go up. Breath of Ian's. Trying to get that breath out, which is nice because we get at least a couple seconds of the pallies buffs too. There, I don't know how much damage I did there, but it feels like it was probably quite a bit. DK is definitely going up in the damage area. Is uh, deaths in that first area 
don't seem to have hindered him too much. 445, 442. Yeah, I don't know. I'm curious how I do in, the, in the, how I uh, did in this dungeon. I'll have to open up the. I'll have to start up a log real quick at the end of this and let you guys know. Crashing stone. Rally. Rally. I don't have an interrupt. That's okay. Greater heal. I was about to let that upheaval go off early just Crashing to interrupt that stone. adept. We interrupt that adept there and then we'll just be on the executor watching for rallies essentially at this point i think crashing stone just pop a aoe heal there through our blossom i tried to i broke my cast to interrupt there <laughs> i didn't even have my interrupt up crashing stone Oh, that's not the way I was supposed to go. Oops. I thought I clicked like up on top of the thing. Maybe it just bugged out or something. <laughs> that was weird. To the top. Breath of Ian's Lightning Lash. Sure we try to hit as much of that as we can here. I missed my breath there. That felt bad. Overload grounding field. I was gonna try to like rescue the healer out of that. Hmm. Lightning lash. Lash on the decay. Decay seems fine. You also don't want to tank this out here. You want to take it next to the thing so your melee can still DPS Overload while uh field. while they're stuck in the center, right? We have to do these stars here, I think. So I'll just obsidian going into it. Try to give us a little bit of defenses. One thing with, uh, like I try not to hold up in my, if I can, a lot of the time. Like I might hold my upheaval here, just so I have it for the next Evan might. But I try to just use it because, I mean, most of the time, like, by the time we're done here, I'll have like 10 seconds left on it, maybe. When I first started playing Evoker or Aug, I was having issues, or I was I would hold Evan might way too long a lot of the times. And you don't really sheep. Oh, okay. We don't have a sheep. Crashing stone. Greater heal. Greater heal. Rally. Try to make sure we get this. Oh, we're too fast, actually. We're, we're not going to have lust for the uh, hard pull after this. I'm going to go ahead and... I maybe actually shouldn't have used my obsidian scales there. I could, should have renewing blazed because I could have saved it for the next pack, which is when things get dangerous. Crashing stone. In my opinion, anyway. Breath of Eons. I'm definitely not gonna Breath of Eons here. That's probably just Pillar of Frost on the DK, right? This is just the Elismir helper, right? Oh. Breath of Eons. I will Breath of Eons that, though. Okay, I'll rally this. Then we'll just get on one of these ex executors for the AoE. I'm gonna go ahead and Zephyr here and try to help our tank out a little bit. I canceled that a little early to make sure I could help grab that interrupt on the rally. I'm gonna go ahead and renewing blaze here. 
don't have anything else. I'm going to vert it myself. I don't have vert for three seconds. I can help up. That's probably what I'll do there. I'm going to help heal here. Yeah, we're going to roll over. Of course, everybody's running. Like, I mean, it's not that bad, but uh, it seems like our healer has been struggling to keep people up through it. I'm just going to spam some eruptions on these. I'm going to save the Ebonmite for the boss, I think. And we have Lust. Must have come up just recently. Blood lust. Breath of Eons. Ooh, that was actually really bad. I should have held it for the ad, so we could breath the breath of Eons the ad. It's okay. I don't think it's gonna be a problem, but that would that's a optimization I can make, I guess. Should we jump for this? Already got hit. Inside, three, two, one. Supremacy sure, we're standing in this. Chain lightning. Chain lightning on the decay. The boss is just melting. Our decay is doing a lot of damage. help heal a little bit here just pop my healing stuff to help catch up but we don't even need to the boss is dead all right yeah not bad 17 two chest on the vortex they gave me a lot of uh, that'll give me a lot of score on this character i've thought about trying to push a little bit on this one because uh i do enjoy playing aug it's quite fun to do oh we got a haste first neck nice Alrighty, oh, uh, I'm gonna upload this log real quick. I'm just curious what my DPS looked like. And then I wanted to look at, there's something I wanted to look at here. Oh, CC score, that's what it was. So we can go to, you can go to, uh, what is it? CC crowd control done. And then we can go for the overall, right? And so you're gonna, I'm not even on the list for crowd control done, but I did do a lot of like knockups and stuff. Maybe it. Hmm. Crowd control done. Crowd control received. Interesting. I guess that just doesn't work very well. What about interrupts? I know interrupts works. I interrupted a lot of things. But... This is like 54, 27, 7. That's a weird random number. Um, we can go look at this log real quick. I'm just curious what my DPS was like that dungeon. Oh, we didn't finish the freehold. Vortex Pinnacle. 93.8k. So the DK beat me by 200 DPS as an AUG. Not too bad. Our damage was pretty low for the key level. I think it just really like playing an AUG, it's all about your group, man. Like you really like if your DPS are good and like geared, you're just gonna do much better. I'm sure there's things I can improve on, I just don't really know what they are. Oh, uh I could have given them the neck. I wasn't paying attention. Uh anyway, well I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh it was just a 17 vortex on an augmentation evoker. If you did, a like, a comment, or a sub would be cool. And uh, I hope you have a good rest of your day and we'll see you next time. Thanks again. Bye bye.